You can also perform a uh, search over video. So in these examples, we'll go back to that scenario of being a loyalty program in a bar. Um, and so you might have member photos where you want to be able to see, is, has that member checked in recently? Have they appeared in my physical establishment? And so here we're gonna pull up their member photo and look at search results, not in the member photo collection, but in all of the video streams that might be around my premise. So in the platform, you can search across apps. So we pick the uh, customer check-in video stream app and we're finding search results of this person. Again, you didn't see any name of this person. We didn't have to understand a name or categorize any personally identifiable information. We just automatically found that this person has been here before in multiple different video streams. And as you can see, we can jump to any part of the video that was matched. It actually matches any point in time. And again, because we're doing face detection, it matches where and who that person is uh, within the physical uh, spatial layout of every frame. So it's both space and time. That's, that's why we call it space time search. Now let's take a look at kind of the inverse. You have videos. Um, so we've understood the entire content of the video and now we can provide further analysis like being able to take any frame of that video and we see the gentleman again walking in at the back. So we wanna freeze frame there and search for that person. So we can find that example, um, which is already provided on the right hand side and use it as a search in our member photos. So maybe we wanna look up that person's name. And in this case, we're gonna do it through a visual search. There's no trained model here. So this extends to very large catalogs of people. You could have literally millions of people and treat it as a search problem to find which member that is. And you can see we mapped uh, directly to him very reliably from a single frame of video 